pick in the 2009 draft. Ten-time All-Star. He's had some hamstring of developing their young talent. And the second free throw good for Harden. Which is giving him a little more success. Scotty Barnes with his first foul, third team foul again. And the second free throw goes down. Billy's come out in a zone here. And, and this is a good move. Just to, you're trying to make Toronto think offensively. And that's what this does. You just change it up, flip the rhythm a little bit. And you notice forces them into a, a shot clock violation. They were not ready for that zone. That's a smart decision there. That's part of that little chess game where you can steal some possessions as a coach. Raptor shot 51%. At Philly in game five, their best shooting effort of the series tonight. They're off to a great start, seven of ten. Here's Danny Green, the sharpshooter, inside and B. Has that knocked out of his hands. Sixers turn it over. Scotty Barnes striding into the front court. Achua puts it on the deck. Backs down, blocked by Embiid. And Tobias Harris recovers it. Harden, a burst to the hole. How simple can it get? for James Harden. It's really simple when you've got Joel Embiid setting that screen down low, just clearing a space for you. Early on, Philly's got to be thrilled with how aggressive Harden has been offensively. Gary Trent Jr. off the front rim. Long rebound, Bard, 17-foot jump shot. Rolls off. Toronto started 7 of 8. Now they're over their last 6. Meanwhile, Tobias Harris weaves his way to the basket and lays it in. And he has been terrific all series. He really has been so good. And it's, it's nice to see he has had his fair share of disappointment in the postseason as well. Achua and a blocking foul coming up. Sixers not happy with that call. Now Bill Kennedy tells Zach Zarba, no, we're going the other way. Bill Kennedy, I think, wanted to confirm that he had both feet above the restricted area. I thought he had clearly established position. Yeah, it's just a matter of was he outside of that area, and he, and he was. That's just a Chua. And he picks up his first. Sixers with an 18-15 lead. Hard. Really aggressive here in this first quarter with 5-16 to play. Inside, nice position in B, turns, and draws contact. And, and I like the, the, the way they're playing Philly offensively. They, early on, it was about getting Harden on the move, and that's Ananobi's second foul. Now they're starting to establish the big fella down low, running some little horns action to get the switch they want in the paint before the defense can come to help. You see that? Even though Ananobi tried to get there quick, unable to establish position in time. Joel Embiid has gone three straight games with less than 10 free throw attempts. First time since November that's happened. As OG takes a seat. And Chris Boucher gives him some perimeter shooting and, and some shot blocking ability, but he doesn't give you the physicality that you get with OG. Probably the strongest and best defender on this Toronto Raptors team. 10-0 run for the 76ers. Game six, closeout game again for Philly. And they do it on the road is the question. Trent Jr., strong, loose, inside, rebound. Boucher can't get the bounce, but a foul. And that is something that Toronto Raptors fans are accustomed to seeing, and that's the attack on the offensive blast there. Good job by Boucher. Mixing it up. So Chris Boucher at the line. First one good. There's nothing like an NBA playoff game. The energy, the excitement, the drum. Be here live. Secure your seats at NBATickets.com. Chris Boucher, fifth year out of Oregon. He's 29 years old. Niang checks in for the first time for the Sixers. And the second free throw goes. 
and I feel like this is where it gets interesting for Philly. Once they start going to their bench, they get smaller. They don't have the presence down low offensively or defensively of Embiid. How do they counter Toronto's attack? Inside, nice look. Harden finds his man. And that layup goes down for Paul Reed. Just a great read there by, no pun intended, by Harden to get him the ball before that weak side defense could come over to help. Harden with three assists already. Boucher off the back rim. Niang, Chet, tracks it down. Harris. 15-footer. Precious with the rebound. Achua. Euro. High floater. Brooks inside. And Boucher with the rebound. The offensive rebound. And he's fouled. You see this fine here with Harden. That weak side. You see the late rotation by Boucher. And a terrific finish inside by Reed. And with all the conversation about James Harden, I tell you what, he has gotten off to a terrific start as the orchestrator for the Sixers. He's played eight minutes, eight points, three assists, and a rebound for Harden. But he's also controlled the tempo. You notice the turnovers are down. He's got one, but collectively as a team, they're getting good looks every possession, which also gives you floor balance and keeps Toronto out of the open floor. Second free throw good. 